Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to say a few words on negative binomial regression model using SPSS or count data regression model. Actually as far as the basic uh, knowledge is concerned we can say in this way that an alternative strategy for modeling count data regression or Poisson probability distribution is the application of negative binomial distribution. The basic objectives of both the distributions are same as both measure the relationship between predictor variables and the likelihood of certain count outcomes. However, the probabilities associated with count outcomes differ between the two distributions. The negative binomial distribution has an additional parameter that is known as dispersion parameter which is used to model its variance. The negative binomial distribution takes into account the issue of over dispersion that is variance greater than mean of the count data set. Many times over dispersion occurs when we have many zeros in a uh, very low frequency data set. Similarly, over dispersion is also the result of large counts in, in the upper tail of the data distribution. The negative binomial uh, probability distribution can be written as delta square equals to lambda plus lambda square r where both are lambda and, and r positive and the delta square is the variance so lambda is the mean and r is the dispersion parameter of the model. Now from the last equation it is clear that variance is always larger than, uh, than the mean in contrast to the Poisson probability di uh, distribution function in which mean is equal to variance. Now as r tends to uh, infinity that means as r increases then the delta square is approaches to towards uh, the lambda that is it approaches to Poisson probability distribution function. Now the question is how can we take the decision whether negative binomial regression model or Poisson regression model will be applicable or suitable for modeling the count data. One rule of thumb measure is to check the summary measure or descriptive statistics of the count data. For advanced measure we can run Kolmogorov Smirnov that is popularly known as KS test. Similarly, another long procedure suggested by Cameron and Trivedi for testing the null hypothesis of equidispersion. It is not analyzed in detail in this video. If you are interested, you can uh, see the Guzzatti's book Essentials of Econometrics. Now the question is, so far what we have uh, learned that the various kinds of regression model, if it is continuous, if the dependent variable is continuous, we have to apply linear regression model or ordinary least square method through. If it is binary, we have to apply logistic regression model. If it is multi-category nominal variable, multinomial logit. If it is multi-category ordered variable, then ordinal logit. Similarly, for count data or count variable, if the, its mean and variance are same, that is equidispersion, we have to apply Poisson regression or log linear model through log linear model. If the count variable is over dispersion, we have to apply the negative binomial regression model. Now practically how can we able to able to uh, estimate this? This is our data set as in the previous uh, video the, the various uh, nations uh, death rate COVID death rate and uh, this is uh, we are assuming that, uh, that this death has some relation on the level of development of the nation the health expenditure of the government health expenditure of the government, the, the physicians, number of physicians, the hospital beds, the inequality of income, the age 65 or older, okay. In this way, the data set has been uh, prepared. Now, we are importing this data into SPSS software. Suppose this is SPSS software, the variable view, the data view, okay. Now, we want to see the summary statistics, that is, uh, analyze Okay, descriptive statistics, descriptive statistics. Now, 
our main aim is to see the descriptive statistics of the dependent variable that is death okay now click uh, options options is standard deviation we want to see standard deviation and mean okay continue okay so its mean is 19 standard deviation is 27 therefore the variance means 27.704 square is always higher than mean so dispersion is there similarly for advanced uh, test go we want to uh, check through ks test non parametric test so go to analyze go to non parametric test go to here this is one sample ks test okay and give the name of the uh, test variable death per million okay and here by default it is given nomina normal or uh, we are deleting the normal we want to test the poisson distribution okay look the poisson distribution the k a statistics is highly significant rejecting the null hypothesis of poisson distribution that means we can apply the negative binomial distribution from this from this two test now we are applying the negative binomial how can we apply analyze go to generalized linear model generalized linear model okay here the type of model the negative and poisson log linear negative binomial with log link so if you want to estimate poisson uh, log linear through spss in my last video uh, we have estimated poisson uh, uh, regression model through stata software but if you want to estimate through spss you have to click here but since we are uh, estimating in this video the, ne the negative binomial so you have to click here okay so we are clicking here now responses the dependent variable give the name of the dependent variable death per million give the name now predictor variable predictor variable if the continuous for continuous variable all the continuous variables will uh, you have to put here and for categorical variable you have to give the categorical variable here okay okay now model go to model model give the name of all the variables here if you want to take this is for main effect this is for main effect if you want to take interaction we are taking interaction of the two variable that means physician per million population into hospital beds per million population this is for interaction effect now for a go to estimation estimation we have not changed anything now go to statistics uh, by default it is not given actually I, uh, you have to include this one include exponential parameter estimates okay now go to okay the result has come now our aim main aim is to analyze all the table that is the most important thing of this estimation their model information link function link function is log that means we have non-linear estimation uh, that non-linearity is transformed through the link function of log so that it becomes uh, estimable okay now the case processing summary the number of uh, data included excluded or missing variable something like that, no data is missing zero percent all are given the information regarding the categorical uh, variable so the human development uh, index has been categorized in terms of very low in terms of uh, medium in terms of you know, high and one is very high and the distribution is more or less equal now the continuous variable information so death per million population health expenditure physician per million population the hospital bed per billion population inequality of income age 65 and older the minimum value maximum value mean value standard deviation all informations we are getting <coughs> now the goodness of fit uh, from AICs or BICs compared to another model we can able to the minimum is the best so for this moment it is not important but whenever we are going to compare with other then it is important AICs or BICs similarly for omnibus test likelihood 
uh, ratio chi square is significant it means that it compares the fitted model against the intercept only that means the if we uh, do not include any independent uh, variable only intercept if we run the regression then uh, and uh, similarly if we, we, we compare the result uh, of this uh, regression um, using only intercept with our full model that means using all the independent variables so definitely whenever we use all our independent variables these variables definitely this is an improvement uh, compared to the only uh, only intercept model so the significance is necessary now total model effect sh shows that these variables individually are through world chi square statistics which one is significant which one is not so according to this uh, result this variable that means the physician per million of population is not significant similarly uh, the inequality of income is not significant the age 65 and older is not significant <coughs> Now the most important table that we have to explain is this table. This table shows the estimated value shows this is the log of counts with respect to with the changes of one unit of the uh, predictor variable. So uh, this is the estimated change of log of counts. Now more or less one is negative. Okay, so log of uh, count data. So death is uh, going to reduce that means negative declines with the increases of the physician we can explain in this way only uh, a hospital bed is not uh, significant that means it is not related similarly the other also can be explained here this is positive and get at then one one point one 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 that means the log of count uh, for the three three means medium nations with medium level of development okay so the death rate is point zero point seven six three uh, higher compared to the uh, nations with uh, four four means very low level of development so the nations with medium level of developments death covid death is higher compared to very low level of development similarly nations with high level of development the death covid death is higher uh, with respect to or compared to the very low level of development. Similarly, the nations with very high level of development, the COVID death is higher. Okay, log of counts is 1.81. Um, okay, compared to the very low level of development. So this shows that the COVID death is not related to the level of development. If it is poor, for poorer nations, the, the death rate is less compared to the medium level of uh, development, high level of development, or or the very high level of development so this is this may be the result of the immunity or the resistance power of the poorer nations people of the poorer nations may be one of the uh, result for for the outcome similarly uh, health expenditure the the log of counts is positive that means uh, that means with the increases of health expenditure by one unit the death rate increases similarly the physician with the increases of one unit of physician the death rate declines Hospital beds is showing no uh, relation. Inequality of income showing positive. That means the log of counts uh, of death uh, increases uh, if in inequality of income also increases. So this is also uh, showing uh, log of count is point zero point zero zero two is also uh, positive. That means with the increases of uh, sixty five, age sixty five and older, the log of uh, count uh, variable increases now this value coming to this value that means expected value of b uh, this is this is more or less incidence rate ratio or uh, odds ratio in the logic model so this value is either one or less than one or greater than one one means no relation of the predictor variable and the dependent variable in this case uh, this is uh, this is the um, our reference category we are not considering this one but for this this is one one means the the interaction of physicians and hospital bed is not significant similarly this variable that is uh, hospital bed showing no relation physician per million showing no relation uh, maybe uh, still now 
there is no vaccination has not been has not been or no medicine uh, vaccination has not been developed so far so this may be the result uh, that the doctors and hospital beds cannot able to uh, reduce this one maybe only time is the only healer of all these wounds uh, whenever people are accustomed to this type of virus then then the death rate will decline otherwise no uh, signal of declining with the uh, hospital bed doctor because of uh, absence of proper medicine actual medicine so this may be the the explanation like this on the basis of this result so if it is more than one this means uh, with the increases of uh, one unit of health expenditure the death rate will increase by the uh, by 1.087 times okay so in other words if we subtract from one it means uh, 0.08 so 8% increase of death if there is an one unit increase of <coughs> excuse me one unit increase of uh, health expenditure so this it looks like uh, like absurd but uh, i think that health expenditure is not coming uh, fruitfully to reduce the death rate maybe one kind of explanation like this so similarly this is uh, so i told you one and uh, we can explain that compared to very low level of develop development uh, the for medium level of development death rate is 2.18144 times more compared to the low low level of development similarly for high level of uh, nations with high level of development the death rate is 3.044 times more compared to the very low similarly for very high level of develop development uh, developed nations the death rate is 6.168 times more compared to the a very low level of development so in this way we can explain the negative binomial regression model so that's all for today friends if you if you feel that uh, it helps you or it is helpful so subscribe my channel and share it so thank you that's all